So I've seen some of the early pictures coming in from Haiti after the earthquake. And it's bad over there. Presidential palace in ruins, the hospitals in ruins. Port-au-Prince, the uh, capital city, a city of three million people, has for all intents and purposes ceased to exist. Um, anybody takes a look at, uh, um, or to take a look at a uh, Google Earth, or um, if they use it, virtual Earth picture of Haiti and Port-au-Prince. Uh, it's a big shanty town, most of it, anyway. I mean, back in the 1950s, it was a uh, city of 250,000 people. Now there's 3 million people there. Um, this, what is happening, is probably the worst humanitarian nightmare in the Western Hemisphere in recorded history. Um, this is much, much, much worse than Katrina. This, this is, this is just wrong. This is... Well, it's wrong, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm trying to explain myself, but this is something that is going to cause a lot of international uproar on how it's dealt with. Um, it's just a day afterward, but they're expecting hundreds of people to be dead. Um, I'm sorry, but after looking at, at aerial views of Port-au-Prince, on the surrounding areas, knowing its magnitude and its depth, and knowing how a shanty town is built and how big their shanty towns are, I'm thinking tens of thousands of people may have died. I hope to God I am wrong. Um, we need to get people in there and we need to get them in there fast. The UN headquarters, the UN peacekeeping headquarters, destroyed a very large sum of the people working there are trapped and presumed, well, let's not presume anything yet, but uh, this could become an international humanitarian nightmare. It's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. These are all the facts I've been getting off the news. Oh, God. There's pictures right now on CNN of the presidential palace, and it's just, yeah. They're going to have to build a new one. Um, something needs to be done. Um, I hope nobody, you know, shit's going to go wrong. Murphy's Law is going to take effect, and a lot of people are going to get blamed. This is going to become a quagmire. Um, and I know Hugo Chavez and... Uh... uh that guy in Cuba, Castro's brother, they're going to want to pol politicize the fuck out of this. Anything the Americans do, I guarantee you, Hugo Chavez, for some reason or another, is going to fucking sit there and condemn us for it. So, yeah. Nitpicking little fucking bitch. Anyway, uh -huh. <coughs> it's just horrible. And I hope something gets done about it. Um, yeah, anybody out there that sees this and can um, donate to any humanitarian effort that um, may help the Red Cross. Donate to the Red Cross, if anything. Um, they're the easiest ones to get a hold of, and they're usually the first people there. Followed very closely by the Mormons for some fucking reason, but I don't understand that. Anyway... So, the first two charities you should think about donating to is uh, the Red Cross and the Mormon Relief Fund. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, um, yeah. And anybody that has a helicopter, I'm sure they could use your help there. I'm serious. If the airports are all destroyed, you can't land a plane there, then the only other option is a uh, heavy lift helicopter to bring in supplies. So, if you know anybody that owns a heavy lift helicopter and wants to donate his time, you know, and helicopter, you know, for a good, re for a good reason, um, have them contact, I don't know, I guess the, the Navy to get the fuck over there, right? Because when the military sends in relief, what do they do? Send in a carrier fleet, right? Right, I guess so. Anyway, 
got to have some place to land the helicopter, don't you? <laughs> Either that or you can fly over from Cuba, Guantanamo. Yeah, I guess so. That's not very far from Port Prince. Anyway, that's my thought. Um, yeah. Donate to relief efforts for Haiti. They need the help. They don't really have the money to fix themselves. Um, it's a travesty, I hope. To God that there aren't tens of thousands of people dead, but there is a possibility of that considering Port-au-Prince and its shanty towns. And uh, yeah, I have this really odd feeling that this is going to become an international humanitarian nightmare. Uh, yeah, get a lot of people to bicker with each other, but end up in the UN and shit, somebody debating it in the UN, which is nothing more than a big fucking waste of time. Don't debate it, asshole. Fucking do something about it. 